Yep. I'm not.
celebrate our heritage, culture, the different regions we come from, but we also celebrate our, our individual stories of success, stories like mine and hundreds and thousands of other Albanian Americans who make the fabric of this great country and this great city. At this time, I would like to acknowledge some special guests we have with us, Ambassador of the Republic of Albania to the United States, Vesniana Kadare, General of the Republic of Kosovo, Kayuta Sachiki, I'm sorry. Sahachiu. Sahachiu. Did I say it right? Okay. This one's easy. Father Peter Bobai of the Art Lady of Shwara. Father Peter Pope from the Our Lady of Scorbury Parish in Westchester County, New York. Thank you, Daniel. Good evening. It is an honor and privilege for me to be here tonight with you. First, I would like to thank the uh, Council Speaker, Corey Johnson. Councilman Mr. Mark Jonai for having organized this celebration. This is the most important event of the Albanian people. The Independence Day after five centuries for, from a foreign occupation. For the first time after 444 years, the George Kasiotis Skanderbeg's flag was raised again in Albanian territory. Today, we commemorate all those brave Albanian men and women that fought throughout the centuries for liberty and independence of our country. We thank them for preserving our identity, language, and culture. God has saved us from disappearing completely. It is amazing that we still exist as a country and as a nation with all the sufferings our people endured throughout the history, occupation after occupation, and our enemies were not small, most of them were empires. These superpowers and isms don't exist anymore, but we do. From the time of the Illyrians to this day, our people never declared any wars or threatened to occupy anybody but only fought for their land and their rights to rule themselves. On the contrary, we contributed to the world so many good leaders, architects, engineers, poets, and even saints. You would not find that written in history. Why? Because most of our history was not written by, by us, it was written by other people. All the big names, even the George Castillo de Skanderbeg's name, and even Saint Mother Teresa of Boyajou were tempted to be stolen from the Albanians. After the liberation of 1912, there was an attempt to split Albania in two by the neighboring countries, half to go to the northern neighbors and the other half to the southern neighbors. Had it not been for Austria-Hungary and President Woodrow Wilson of the United States of America, we would be without a country. Even today, more than half of Albania is in occupied territory. Again, thank God for America that we have Kosovo liberated and an established state. Our Albanian people suffered atrocities and injustices throughout the centuries. But our trust in God and the trust in Besa with one another saved us. Amidst this suffering, God sent us good people like America to help us. Today, we pray for the whole world, that they learn to put down the arms of hatred and embrace peace. We pray for this United States of America, that God will always send good people to lead, protect, and preserve the freedom and justice for all. We pray for our Albanian people that we will stay united, close to God, 
and close to one another. God bless America. God bless Albania. God bless Kosovo. God bless you all. Congratulations. <laughs>
Those go back centuries, and then also you'll see the women uh, with the red, it signifies a rich culture of vibrance. So welcoming now to the stage the Rosa Fati Dance Group under the direction of Angelina Nika. one of our own who proudly represents us here in the United in the New York State Assembly. 
one who speaks in these chambers on behalf of the residents of District 13 from the Bronx and proudly displays next to his name the flags of the U.S., Albania, and Kosovo. A proud Albanian American with a vision for the Albanian American community, the Bronx, and New York City. So welcome, Mark Chomai. Mirama Exuadita Tamurit. Good evening. It truly is a remarkable day, a remarkable evening, as we get to celebrate our independence in a building that's so iconic to have our music be heard and dancing and food for all to enjoy is a tremendous day for the Albanian-American community. And for that, I ask that you all give yourselves a round of applause. I want to thank our, our MC for the evening, Lydia Wicca. Let's give her a round of applause. And our special Thanks goes to Speaker Corey Johnson, the co-hosting council members, my colleagues. But I really want to thank the two colleagues that stood and, and I would imagine are going to remain here. Councilman Yeager, will you come and join us, Councilman Yeager? Can we give a round of applause? For We had many of my colleagues in the council co-sponsor tonight's event, but these three not only sponsored, made sure they made a commitment to be here and celebrate with us. So for that, let's give a nice round of applause. To my dear friend, Ambassador Kadere, thank you so much for being here. Round of applause. <laughs> Ambassador Sergio, thank you as well as my dear friend. Our dear clergymen and performers, Group Eaters of Fati, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Indeed, it's a special day for all of us. For our music to be heard in the very chambers where legislation and bills are debated and testimonies are heard that impact the lives of all New Yorkers. Indeed, it's a tremendous day that we get to recognize the accomplishments of the Albanian American community, the sacrifices and the contributions that you made to this great city, state, and country. And to see our flags stand side by side, one another, truly marks this occasion as we celebrate our 106th anniversary. We're privileged to celebrate our independence in a country which allows us to flourish, gives us the rights to lead our lives and live our lives as we choose fit, but also allows you to hold on to your culture your traditions, your history, as you become productive members of this new country, our new country. It warms my heart to see so many of you and the accomplishments that you've made. But we did it on the shoulders of our ancestors, those that truly understood sacrifice and fled their place of birth for a better life, for a better future. And what is more remarkable is that although they left their homelands and intertwined and became productive members in this great country of ours, we never forgot where we came from and we still hold true to where we came from.
It was 106 years ago, on November 28, 1912, where a few courageous patriots raised a red flag with a double-headed black eagle to symbolize our day of independence. Although our country is divided and unjustly drawn territories within present day known as Kosovo, Montenegro, Macedonia, Chebria, and Presheva Valley, they were left out of the Albanian territory. Imagine people that shade, that speak the same language, sharing the same history and traditions and culture, being separated into so many different countries. It is remarkable that we can hold on to our identity after so many years of occupations and political injustice. It happened that no matter where Albanians lived, in that time, they came together to celebrate a long fought day of independence as they were able to overcome, which is no different than today, where Albanians, regardless of where they come from the world, we continue to celebrate our day of independence as one. Tonight, we get to celebrate. An identity that refuses to be shaken, proven through multiple military invasions and political manipulations and even genocide. Tonight we get to celebrate our heritage, culture, and the many successes we have reached in this great country. Tonight's celebration is special, not only for those reasons, but because I have an honor and a privilege to recognize some of the tremendous leaders that have impacted our community and have made history. I want to end with, I am truly honored to be known as my colleagues refer to me, not as Councilman Jomai, but there goes the Albanian. I walk Science 
from Columbia University and is the author of four books and numerous articles. Dr. Babera and family escaped communist Albania and his voice rang the bell of hope and democracy through the waves of Voice of America to Albanians under the communist oppression and served to him. And continued later on as these countries were building their new democracies. Few in modern times in our history of this community have had the ability to make history and impact the developments as Dr. Bebele. The greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the greatness of its members, and he exemplifies that. It is a great honor that I recognize Dr. Ilez Bebele for his contributions. Councilman Mark Jonai, Council Members, Ms. Suramai, Vashka Datar, Thank you very, very much. This is a great honor for me personally. It is also a tribute to the uh, role that the Voice of America has played for more than 75 years broadcasting to our nation in Albania, Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, and other countries where they live. From the very first day that I joined the Voice of America, uh, almost 40 years ago, I really fell in love with the mission of this extraordinary news organization. Its dedication to the highest standards of journalism, the dissemination of truth, and the promotion of American democratic values. I've been very lucky because the Voice of America has given me a front row seat to history. I feel so privileged to work with a highly talented team of journalists who day in and day out produce exceptional journalism in the service of truth and in support of freedom and democracy worldwide. In this age in which democratic norms, unfortunately, and freedom of expression are under severe attack in many countries, the role of the Voice of America is as critical as ever. I am especially honored to receive this recognition for three reasons. First, it is an award from a distinguished son of the Albanian American community, the Albanian Mark Zonai, whose work, whose work, leadership, and achievements are an inspiration for anyone interested in public service. Second, this ceremony takes place in a temple of democracy in the City Hall of New York, which represents this great city that welcomed me and my family about 50 years ago. And third, I am very pleased that this award is presented on such a highly symbolic occasion on our flag day. Despite some serious challenges that Albanians throughout the Balkans face, I really remain very, very hopeful that our nation is on the way to fulfilling its destiny of taking its rightful place in the ranks of free, democratic, and prosperous nations. Mr. Jonai, I am deeply thankful for this recognition. Gzur Didrit Our second honoree comes from Kosovo. Ghani Shell has dedicated his life to the freedom and independence of Kosovo. 
Since his early student years, he joined the protests against the Serb regime and was involved with all the political processes that led to the war and the Kosovo Liberation Army, where he rose to the rank of the commander of the Unni Battalion. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in times of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Commander Shell was severely injured in one of the battles in 1998, and with the help of humanitarian organizations, he came to the U.S. to be treated. In the words of American General Squarsoff, it doesn't take a hero to order men into battle. It takes a hero to be one of those men who goes into battle with them. Commander Shell went back to fight for his country, heading the Atlantic Atlantico Battalion, an organized group of Albanian Americans who left the comforts of their home for a bigger cause, to fight for the freedom of their country. Upon the liberation of Kosovo, Commander Shell was promoted to the high-ranking officer for the Kosovo Liberation Army's General Command. Since 2002, he is a distinct member of the Albanian American community. It is my honor to recognize Commander Ghani Shell. Testing and research. 
In 2004, the foundation established a branch in Debra with full staff and state-of-the-art equipment. It is every man's obligation to put back into the world at least the equivalent of what he takes out of it. He did and his family have done more than their fair share, and the Albanian American community takes pride in them. I am humbled to recognize my dear friend tonight, Ilya Rusi.
Dear Mr. Council Speaker Cody Johnson, Dear Mr. Mark Jonay, Dear all Council members of the New York City, Dear all parents, Albanian sisters and brothers, and all attenders of this event, I'm thrilled to be in front of you, being honored for what I try with us, much as I can, to be there with you and to give my help. I never thought that a daughter of Chamaria, as I am, would be honored in the center of the world in New York City. Once again, thank you by promising that I will always be there for you, by your side, by your raising my voice for the problem of the Chamaria and every other part of Albanian territory from anyone who thinks that Albania and its nation are alone. But their side, in every moment, America has been there for them. As a citizen of this country, I will do the impossible to serve in every moment that it needs my help. In the most important national day of Albania, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say, God bless the United States of America. God bless Albania. God bless Kosovo. God bless Albanian flag. Thank you very much. And I send my very small message to my people. My father was born in Filat. He came only 10 years old in Albania. He never went back over there. He died 67 years old with his heart crying every moment for everything what he left behind him. Thank you, my hero, that made me to be proud and I'm Albanian from Chamaria. Thank you. the very passionate and open and hard-working honoree another round of applause. <laughs> Originally from Tres, Marcia, our next honoree significantly represents Albanians in Montenegro. A depicted intellectual Publisher, philanthropist, and businessman, Jack Jim Deca, was invested in the Albanian American community and to a larger Albanian cause since he immigrated to the U.S. in 1970. Jack Jim Deca started working for Voice of America in 1984, and among many achievements in his career, the greatest with no doubt, is the momento recording of Mother Teresa speaking Albanian. As she recited an Albanian prayer, part of an interview for Voice of America, he has been an integral part of all the important historical involvements, such as the Dayton Conference, KLA, and others. He is the founder and publisher of Jamaica Publishing and has published 12 treasures of Albanian history and literature such as the Albanian Code, Kanuni, works by the great Ismail Kadere, Father Jacobi, Pope John Paul II, and others. In Mother Teresa's words, we cannot change the world alone, but we can all cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. For all he represents, and all the ripples that he's created, I am glad to introduce and recognize my dear friend, Jack Jandeka.
was at the end of the most not that she did it. Uh, Speaker Johnson, uh, my children, that happened, I love you. Name and last name because my uncle's name is Marjone from my mother's side. And uh, uh, tonight I'm in a special neighborhood because I worked many years in 26 Federal Plaza for Voice of America and uh, I'm happy to see my boss. It is the bear. I'm proud and I'm still proud of him and I think I will be the rest of my life. <laughs> I have great memories. I walked hundreds of times in this neighborhood and from 30th floor I could see every day a two World Trade Center. And something happened tragically at this place because on September 11th I lost my first cousin, well-known window cleaner, Rosa. And we lost two more, Simon the Bukai and Monjan Bale. And I have uh, good memories, but I have uh, sad memories. And not far from here, as Mr. John I mentioned, I went a couple times to see and to talk to Mother Teresa. And I ask her, please, say a few things in Albanian, because may God knows, 500 years from today, what they're going to say, because as we know, others do not claim these days like Macedonians. I'm very happy that you recognize my efforts. And uh, we hope we live long to continue our contributions. Uh, you mentioned Kadare. I was, I was lucky at that time when, with orders of Elizabeth Bear. I go to the airport because uh, he's coming, Elena and Kadare, so I go and meet them. And we work together a lot of things, but I'm a small publisher for him. I didn't publish his books, but I helped him for distribution and went even to Paris and met the publishers. And he is a good friend and greatest intellectual of Albanian nation all the times. Thank you very much. Thank you for recognizing our efforts. And God bless you and happy Flag Day for Albanian nation. Our next honoree, unfortunately, is not here with us this evening due to a medical emergency. He fell ill as he was preparing to attend this evening. Our prayers are with him and his family and wish him a speedy recovery. On his behalf, to accept the honor tonight will be Ambassador Sarge. Our next honoree's life reads pretty much as a story out of a history book. Reg Jogli's family originated from Prashiva Valley. He was born in Fier, a town in southern Albania. As a child, he was taken to Kosovo, where he was later accused and jailed by the Yugoslav regime as a member of pro Albanian group. He managed to escape and come to Boston in 1964. He spoke no English and no training. He had a vision to make it and learn the value of hard work by working hard. Over the years, he became one of the most successful Albanian Americans in real estate. Ever since, he's been involved in many causes. He is one of the founders of the Albanian American Civic League and later NAC. Reg and Spiris Ajarpi have opened their hearts to host refugees, students, sick children, investing in Albanian culture and educational events. One of the causes close to their heart is helping children 
with autism in Kosovo. Inspired by their son, Arvin. Tonight, I am honored to acknowledge one of Reg Jockley's passions. His love for books, collecting, organizing, and cataloging thousands of opinion titles. And I'm proud to share with you that he has donated thousands of amazing, priceless titles to the Albanian Community Center to be shared with generations for years to come. Due to his health, Reg could not be here with us, but I'm grateful to share this recognition. Ambassador, will you please honor us by accepting this award on behalf of a great man and a great family.
Okay, and at this point, we are asking Imam Tahir Kukai of the Albanian American Center for the benediction. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, we thank Almighty Subhanahu wa Ta'ala for his auspicious event, joyous, and proud event for Albanians. Honorable Marjona, thank you for your leadership, for your efforts. 17 days ago, we were together at Father Peter Popeye's church, our little good council, honoring an Albanian patriot who was buried here in the United States of America and here in New York for 69 years. I was honored to be part of the Albanian Imams and priests to offer the prayer for his soul at the church. The deceased was an Albanian Muslim, Bektashi, was done in the church. Previously, somebody mentioned we are Albanians first. Yes, we are Albanians first, but we are also Muslims and Catholics by love. We love our Creator and we are proud of our religion. This is what brings us together. Our prayer is going to be short. I'm going to be reading this. And Imam was asked to do the fundraising dinner. And usually they go ask for money. We are going to do that here. He goes and says that uh, for the project that we are about to the good, we have two news. One is good and the other one is not that good. The good one is that all the money that we need for the project we have. It. And the bad one is that we need to get that money from your pockets. <laughs> the bad news is that Imam has to do the, the last, I'm the last one or another one. And usually we take too long. But I say I mean to every word that Father Pope has said in his Invocation is prayer. I have written the prayer for Albanian nation and a prayer for the City Council of New York that has honored us. May Almighty God bless Albanian nation, enlighten our minds that what we have done for 106 years in the next six years to do to multiply our achievements. Almighty God has chosen our name, Alban, Ilir, which means free people. May Almighty God ward our hearts with love for each other. We love our Albanian and Albanian nation more than we speak. We ward harder that we are amongst proud nations. I would love to read a short prayer that I have done also for City Council. Lord of the Universe, bestow your blessings upon New York City uh, Council and its members. The leaders of the city that we love and the metropolis that comprise the most diverse population on the face of the earth. Instill within our visionary elected members of our city council the fortitude to carry forward their quest to ensure a bright future for today and years to come. For all New Yorkers, their quality of life their education, their safety, their security, their well-being, 
regardless of their station in life, they will face daunting challenges in days and years ahead, and they will seek, they will seek to fulfill their inspired and bold and fair mission for the people of New York. So we pray, Lord Almighty, that you comfort upon New York City Council members the time-honored words you imparted to the prophets as they were charged to lead into the promised land. May Almighty God bless our city, our great country of ours, the United States of America. May Almighty God bless Albania and the Albanians wherever they are. May God bless you all. Thank you. The next performance will be from the Epos Dance Ensemble, a youth-led dance group from the Bronx who take pride in their dances, that their members are from every Albanian land.
April celebration. I want to take the opportunity to thank the New York City Council, Speaker Johnson, and of course Councilman Johnine, and others for the opportunity to celebrate here. Congratulations to the honorees as well as all of the distinguished guests. Also want to thank the European Fresh Market for the delicious food during the reception. You probably all got a chance to taste some chavapas. And special thanks to the New York City Council Event Productions and Councilman John Nice staff, specifically Deputy Chief of Staff Vera Mugu, who works 24-7. Thank you, Vera. Worked so hard to put this event together. Again, I just conclude by saying, Uri 